Hello everyone, my name is Arya and welcome to the video. I play primarily solo in Hunt, and that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who's seen my other videos or watched my streams. Something that I have learned from playing solo though, is that the odds are always incredibly stacked against you. In a perfect scenario, a duel will always win against a solo, because the solo can only shoot at one person at a time. However, this is Hunt Showdown, and there is almost never a perfect scenario for anybody which sometimes allows the solo to get the upper hand and come out on top with a bit of quick thinking and some creativity. One way to do this is to try and isolate or pick off players that are separated, and that way you don't have to win a 1v2, you just have to win two 1v1s, which is much more manageable. This is often accomplished through good positioning on the solo's part, or less than good positioning on the duo's part. In this match you will see that I am essentially the stereotypical high noon gunslinging cowgirl, because all of the fights will be isolated 1v1s. Duels, if you will. The loadout for this video was created around getting my Billy and the Beetle questline done, so we have a Sparks with half regular ammo and half poison ammo because I needed to poison hunters, and a Silent Nagant because I had one lying around and needed to use the Spare Dime later in the questline, so I thought I might as well warm up with the trusty old Mosquito. Tools are a bit of a mess. Knuckle knife, med kit, throwing axes, which I don't need because I have my Silent Nagant, and decoy fuses. And consumables are also a bit of a mess. Bit shot, wax dynamite, and a stalker beetle, and an empty fourth slot. I think the tools were just copy pasted from a different loadout, and I was taking random consumables that I had for my fourth consumable slot, but I think I just forgot to in this match. Oh well, it won't make much of a difference anyways. Quickly before the gameplay starts, this was all streamed over on my Twitch, link in the description below. If you want to come say hi and give me some support, I would love to see you around. I am very open to new players too, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them either in the chat during my live streams or in the comments of these videos, and I will do my best to answer them. Self promo section over, roll the gameplay. Yeah, the reload bug is. Easily one of the most frustrating bugs in the game. Probably in the game's history. Oh, lots of horses. Another really annoying one that I can remember is um, the one where you couldn't place like bear traps down, they would just like reappear back at your feet. That one was pretty frustrating. Hi, friend. What the heck is going on? Hey. I'm trying to think of some other ones that were really annoying. It teleports to it teleports to your foot without going off. Like it, it it'll it, it it wasn't it didn't like teleport underneath you. That would be a really funny bug. You place a bear trap down. It has potential to just like fight back and and get you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I love it when hives don't die to a single f***ing hit. Does it hit her arm or something? Okay, can I go up, please? Check this for a med kit. And Bear Trap Pro's legs would begin to hunt. New legendary hunter. A fing sentient bear trap. I like that. Let's, let's get you on, on the on the design team, Critter. I'm sure you could do a lot of good for this game. <laughs> there, there they are. There's the <laughs> it's them. <laughs> John Bear Trap, the new legendary hunter. Yeah. 
That would be such a fun idea for a skin of bear trap. Can you imagine? That would be... interesting. <laughs> Oh, golly, oh gee, I sure hope no one's watching this clue from the tower. That would suck. Oh, people are here. Have been here. Well, up to Godard we go. Okay, where do I even want to approach from? Probably right over here, because then I have access to the supply point if I need it. And I can just hold those, uh... Hold that waterfront building. Do you have an exit nearby? Open that. that window. I think they're outside. Why did I bring throwing axes? Have a silent gun. <laughs> Shotgun. Okay, that's a terminus. I'm just gonna fall back and use the supply point real quick. So a bell and a terminus, got it. <laughs> With levering, oh my. This is gonna be fun. It's going to be annoying if they stay up there. Is that the news? Okay, come here then.
You have people behind me. I did. It's the Well, doctor. Where he went, I'm trying to get to the air. Knew I heard something behind me. Are you? That sneaky f <laughs> No. Bad. There's his lantern. Burn the evidence, exactly. His friend has a terminus, so I'm like trying to stay away. I think that's his friend. It might not be. This might just be a solo. There is fighting going on though. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna guard the kill for a bit. Reduce him to atoms. Hello, I would like to apply for Critter's Bug Collecting Service. Oh, hello. That white shirt has the terminus. He also might be dead right now. Are people inside, what's going on here? the scorch marks. Trust me, they're still bugs. They're just they're a little crispy now. Yeah. Okay, I might do a little bit of bug work real quick. to hide. Uh, that feels like a good enough flush. Okay, we got one dead here. Two dead here. The bounty is able to be picked up. 
Is there someone waiting? No. Oh, it's wire. Don't touch the wire. Grant. Another grand. Get in through a hole in the roof, like here. And there's no one here. I don't know where these people are. I don't know who's alive, who's not alive. I'm pretty sure there's still people around. Yeah, they're back there though, okay. Well, I can get the bounty then. At least I should be able to. Pick up the terminals. Maybe. It's just one. I want to like try and democracy with them. You getting closer, buddy? Yeah, headshot me. I'm gonna be very sad. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna headshot him and he's gonna be very sad. Is what I meant to say. Okay, where did that white shirt die now? And also, where did this person die? Oh, buddy. Little old, little old pass. I think I'm clear. I'm not. Who the fuck are you? Sitting in these bushes somewhere. Try 
then get like over here. Yeah, no, those bees aren't gonna do much. Sorry. Fanning or dual wielding. I might get him. <laughs> get flash bomb kill. Woo! it. You got killed by a flash bomb. <laughs> okay, well, oh, spark poison. Putting in some work. <laughs> I'm so glad that the flash bomb actually hit him and didn't get like blocked by the horses. I thought that was going to happen. However, I was ready to follow up with a second flash bomb. Remember what I said in the intro? Good or bad positioning and a little bit of creativity? It feels good to know that the extract camper had a flash bomb on their death screen and that their Springfield buddy from earlier is probably yelling at them for it. If they had been together and fought together, that fight and the outcome probably would have been much different. But like I said, you don't have to have the best positioning in the bayou. It just has to be better than your enemies. Thanks for watching.